to me, that's two squads of people in the military every day gone as a casualty. The Veterans Administration says every day 22 veterans take their own lives. It comes as service members across the country struggle with a mental health crisis. In Michigan, state leaders are joining veterans in that fight by finding new ways to give them the resources they need. Earlier today, News 10's Riley Connell spoke with local veterans. She shows us what this mental health crisis looks like for them and the help that's out there. They're your neighbors, friends, and family members. But local veterans say their pain often goes unheard. The way that I was best described what trauma is, it isn't the action that took place to lead to pain. It's the inability to convey that pain to others. The veteran mental health crisis reaches every Michigan community with more than 600,000 veterans living across the state. Leaders in health care, veterans affairs and state government gathered for a roundtable discussion, finding new ways to meet veterans where they're at and prevent service member suicide. I think there'll be the, the conversations that follow up and flow from this are going to be the ones that are going to lead to some new ideas and new partnerships that hopefully can be some of those game changing um, opportunities for us. Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist says both state and federal dollars are being used for veteran suicide prevention efforts and the expansion of Michigan VA service centers. Veterans like Bill Almy know that issues like PTSD, once called combat fatigue, have only recently become a reality for older service members. He says for vets to recover mentally, they need to find people they can confide in. Call, call vets up as often as you can and kind of keep, keep a check on them, how they're doing, what their needs are, and, and offer what you can. Michigan Veterans Affairs Agency Director Adam Ollier says the need for resources is also growing for women soldiers and service members of the LGBTQ community. That's the difference that we're trying to get veterans to understand is that every bit of your service matters. And by being a part of a community that highlights that, it makes a big difference. A difference that hopefully means more lives saved for the ones who protect ours. In Lansing, Riley Connell, News 10. If you're a veteran in crisis or know someone who is, you can reach the Michigan Suicide Lifeline by calling 988.